Hello, everybody. This is Chaplain Anthony Kelly. And today, what I want to do is chart with you and to journey with you on a new process that I'm undergoing. And that is through the Medical Evaluation Board, the MEB, through the United States Army. Now, as a United States Army chaplain, uh, I have several medical conditions and I posted it on a previous video about having asthma within the military. And the, my journey a little bit along that route, well, it's got me to the point where I have to be medically evaluated through a board to retain service or not. And most likely what's going to happen is I'm going to be found unfit for duty and medically retired from the United States military. And so what I want to do on the next few videos is to journey with you along that process. Now, I just started the process. It was just, I was finally accepted into that program uh, because my doctor, uh, my pulmonary doctor, uh, finally put in the P3 profile into my permanent military health record. And because of that P3 profile, it sends me, sends you to be evaluated. And then once you're cleared for that evaluation, the next step is to enter into that process for a formal board to be able to meet, to evaluate that. Uh, and then once you're cleared so you go on to the next step, and then you're found unfit, then you go on to another board, and then that's where they evaluate you, get your ratings, and then on for a VA evaluation as well for their ratings and for their level of disability. So what I'm looking at is a long journey, can be up to 180 days, six months, maybe even a little bit longer, maybe even a little bit less. They can't guarantee what. Uh, just depends on everybody is different. Everybody's situational. Depends on what health issues arise. Uh, I do not have personal PTSD or traumatic brain, brain injury issues. So that won't count uh, against me on, and, and probably prolong that period of time. Uh, ma mainly my issue is with my asthma that's sometimes very uncontrolled. Has sent me to the ED several times. And so that's what I'm looking at. And so what I want to do is journey along with you along these next few videos about that uh, and what the process is for me to undergo this journey. And hopefully you will gain some knowledge, especially if those service members who are listening to me and you're struggling, whether you're at the end of your career at the 20 year mark, or maybe you're just at the end of your ETS date um, for those enlisted and uh, you don't know what to do, and maybe you have some levels of disability that you could claim, and you're wanting to do how to claim that, uh, maybe these videos might be able to help you out. Now, there's plenty of VA-centered videos out there, plenty of those who are out there on YouTube who do have great amounts of information and will give you all the legalities and the details and the regulations. What I want to do is just give you my personal journey. So it's nothing that's really legal in that aspect or going along the regs, but what I'm experiencing, what I'm feeling, what I'm going through. And right now I can tell you what I'm feeling is apprehensive. I'm at the 16 year mark as a career officer in the United States Army as an Army chaplain. And it's daunting. And sometimes it's a little disappointing uh, that I can't finish my 20 year mark at least. Uh, because of my asthma and all the medications and all the plethora of health issues I'm undergoing at the same time. Uh, so it's very hard. And so I'm scared. I'm a little apprehensive. I'm a little stressed. Um, all those feelings and emotions, which are okay, uh, but they're going through me at the same time. And so I don't know what to do, what's next. And, uh, but I am following along in the process and I've been scheduled a bunch of appointments already for this week coming up and my initial briefings, uh, with the med board and what to expect, what to do and legal briefings as well. And because JAG officers are appointed to me if I so choose to use them. And also you have the choice of going into an outside lawyer to seek uh, professional help as well. So along this journey, I'll let you know what's going on with me and what paths that I have chosen. I just know that I've chosen so far the IDES system. There are two different systems. You have the LDES, which is the legacy system. It's the old system in the United States Army. And then the integrative system, which is involves the VA. So the legacy victim, 
a legacy system that's not involved the VA, and you get your direct ratings from the DOD, and whether you're found fit or unfit, or you're going to be retired or separated, uh, those are all different issues. And in that, that legacy model, you can get out technically faster. But I chose the IDES system, which is integrated with the VA, so I can involve the VA and get their ratings and their disability all at the same time through this six-month process. Whereas the LDAS, you do the VA on your own later after you get out. And so um, I chose the IDES system, and I think that's the best way to go for me personally. And um, as I go along in this system, I want to let you know uh, what I choose have chosen to do and will decide to do. And I will let you know my thoughts and my feelings. And, you know, as a therapist, I'm also in a chaplain. I'm also a little bit ooshy about the feelings and want to talk about feelings and what does that mean for me personally. And so I'm going to be giving you those along the way. It's kind of like a little journal, if you will. Uh, but also this is a great way, a tool, hopefully, and an informational aspect so that if you are considering the med board or are, you are mandatory up for the med board because of an illness or an injury, maybe this might help you along the way as well. And certain decisions you need to make and different paths you need to take. And so hopefully this will be a great blessing and benefit. Overall, I pray that bless that you will just uh, subscribe, that like this channel, uh, like this video and share it with everybody you come in contact with. And I pray God's grace and mercy and love will be upon you each and every day. God bless.